Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 35 here on planet 26. And we are working away here on the platform. Let me get away from those refineries. They're a bit loud down there. Uh, and uh, so we are working on the landing platform. I had finished the connectors up and I think they look pretty good uh, and I've been kicking around some ideas to kind of help finish this out and part of it has to do with uh, adding some uh, cargo blocks some signage uh, I'm going to add two small rooms one in this corner and one down in the other corner down over there those these rooms will be kind of like landing technicians or mechanics guys that would come out and fix the drones or work on your ship if you when you landed in here so that's what I'm going to get started with I also got some ideas about some more lights and stuff and so uh, let me uh, kind of get started on that oh the other thing is I'm probably going to have to redo all of these rails because they are on the inside and they're taking up a whole block, so I can't really put anything alongside. So if you look at this, you can see where that block, I, I can't place it any closer. Which means I can't put any cargo bins or anything like that along the edge. By attaching them to the outside, then I'll be able to do all of that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. That's what I'm getting started on is getting these rooms built and getting the lights up uh, that I have in mind for it and then just kind of getting some uh, cargo blocks and stuff like that. That's what I hope to kind of get this platform completed today. So uh, yeah, so uh, that's uh, let me get started on that and uh, I'll give you some updates as I'm going along.
Well, I've made a little bit of progress here. I have got the, the first technician's room done. Uh, as you can see, they've got like a little control chair here where you can sit in it and kind of look out, you know. It's a little, but you'll be able to kind of look up and see the aircraft coming in. And then if we hop out of here, you've got like a... Uh, corner desk here where you can uh, look out and kind of see aircraft coming in uh, then you can get up and kind of once the aircraft gets in come out here check with the pilot if it's a drone you can go over there and check the drone see if it needs anything fixed on it so that's kind of the idea behind this so you've got a couple of corner desks so you can have two or three technicians working here in each of these booths uh, and then I've gone through I've got to build them all out like that but I've gone through and have uh, reversed my railing so that they're on the outside and what that does it gives me the ability and I'll just demonstrate here I can put uh, I could put uh, signs here, or I could put uh, uh, cargo bins, that sort of thing, kind of sticking out here as kind of uh, decorative here on the platform. So, just wanted to kind of give you a bit of an update where I was at with this. Let me uh, go down there. I want to get the other, other technicians building built. And then I can start putting some signage and start placing some cargo bins. And then I can start working on the lights. So I'll give you another update here coming up here real quick.
All right, just a little bit of an update. Well, as you can see, I got the other technician's building built. Uh, same same thing on the inside. It's got the control uh, panel here, and it's got a couple of places for other technicians to sit. And so you can kind of come in and out. Uh, I also got started getting some of the crates. So you've got storage crates here that uh, you can get into. Uh, open and close. We've got crates here that you can get into and put some storage in uh, if you really wanted to. So I kind of got them over here on this side. Uh, I want to start working on trying to figure out some signage. Uh, I've got these rails all reversed. I just got to build them out and I'll get that done here shortly. So it's starting to take shape but uh, cutting a little bit more down here. Uh, once I get the lights in and I think I get uh, some signage and stuff up, uh, it should look pretty good. So let me keep working away at it and we'll see what else we can come up with here. just a little bit of an update uh, I've got uh, <coughs> some rotating lights in right here and these lights will be on at night it'll be up to the technician to turn them on or off and I still have to set this control panel up to do that but if we go down to the other control panel uh, the technician in here then can uh, come in here and sit in the seat and if you see, you look at uh, number one, that's on or off. And so if we hit one, they're off. And let's hop out of the seat. And you can kind of see that they're all off. So let's go ahead and turn them back on. And let's, and there we go, they're off. So that's up to the technician, turn those on and off. He may want to turn those on when a uh, ship is coming in. But again, that's up to the technician to do that. So I've got these lights in. Uh, I've got to take out these and reverse these around so that they fit. I still need to do some signage and I got some other lights to put up and I got some cargo bins to put up. So let me keep working away and I will uh, uh, keep uh, getting some stuff uh, set up here and be back with you in a little bit.
started to get some stuff done here. The sun's coming up, so let's turn these lights off. Uh, let's do this. One. And back out again. That way they are off. Uh, and then I've got uh, storage containers kind of set up. i got to build them out. And i got to finish building out these rails. i got those all reversed. So I uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on where we are at. It's coming along. Uh, I think the other thing I've, I want to do, well, I've got to put signage up. And I got an idea how I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to be kind of randomly placing those around the area here. Uh, I've got, uh, uh, I can put some signage over on the walls over there. Now I can't put signage on these walls because they're facing outward so I could build the inside. So I had to sacrifice something. And then I've got to put, I want to put some uh, spotlights and stuff up there. Uh, on the uh, along the edge of the tower up there and I haven't decided on whether I want to put them underneath I might want to put them underneath one there one there and I might I'm not going to be able to fit one in between there unless I take that block out but I don't want to do that so I might just stick it on the outside and on the other end. So, so that's a little bit of an update. Let me uh, let me get these cargo bins all built, and I'll get the rails all built, and uh, then uh, I'll give you an update on where I am at.
Okay, I have finished up all of the cargo boxes. I've left a couple of them open, like that one's open there. There's one open on the other side, just kind of looks like it's being used. So I got those all done along with the rails. And I've also got some signs in place, uh, landing area, ships and drones. So I got those kind of placed in and around each of these docking areas. Signs there. I've got some signage over here. Authorized personnel only. Uh, zero days without a clang incident. Eh, we'll see. Of course, safety's always first. Another authorized personnel. And uh, I've got the lights turned off right now. So also, as I was working away, I discovered that uh, we've actually caught up with all of the ore that is in the process. So uh, it uh, so it caught up with all the iron that's coming in. So I had to turn my refineries off because those were just kind of clanging uh, off and on right there as it's getting little bits and pieces. So I'll turn those back on once we get another supply of ore in, which means I might have to go and travel and pick some up, which wouldn't be a bad thing to do anyway. Uh, the last thing I want to get done today is put in the lights, the uh, spotlights. And so I'm going to do those right now. And then we should be pretty close to being able to wrap this thing up. But yeah, let me get those spotlights up. And I think I'll pretty much consider the landing area pretty well done. The only other thing I might do is I could either I could paint some of these blocks, but then they're going to come through down below. So I don't know if I want to do that or not. All right, well, let me get busy on those uh, spotlights. have gotten my uh, spotlights up they're right there I put you know uh, uncompleted blocks on there to show it looks like it has framing and support uh, on the ones on the side and then these you know they're attached at the top and then they have a frame in the back that was the, kind of the idea behind that so it, it looks so it gives them the look of some support so let's do this let's turn these rotating lights on and and I did get the uh, get it set up 
down at the other one that you can turn these on and off. Uh, and I should do that with the spotlights, and I probably will. But for now, uh, so let's go ahead and play God and get the night time here. Hold on just a second. Okay, so here's what it looks like at night. Uh, I've got the spotlight shining out. Uh, we've got some light here. We've got the rotating warning lights. Uh, they've got lights inside of these little uh, technician uh, huts. We've got uh, storage crates spread around. And we've got signage up. Uh, so I think this area... I'm pretty happy with uh, and let's go up up above and see what it looks like coming from up there from the observation tower that's level three up we go and then if we come over here and kind of look out onto the deck uh, I think it looks pretty good. I'm not going to paint the deck anything at this point because when you paint that, it comes through down below and I don't necessarily want that color down below. So if I could just paint one side of it, then that would be good. But I think for right now, I'm pretty good with the lighting, uh, with the uh, technician's room and the bins and crates and everything out there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go down, back down. The only other thing I want to do, and I'll do that in the next episode, is... So what happens if the power goes out and there's no elevator? So we've got to be able to get down. So I'm going to... I need to put uh, some sort of ladder... Uh, scaffolding or not scaffolding but uh, catwalk type system uh, as a manual way to walk up and down off of these towers here and I probably should consider something up in the observation tower with the same situation but I'm not sure I'm not sure where I would bring that in at and I really like the way the observation tower looks Okay, well, I think that's about going to wrap it up today. Uh, looking around, I think we're pretty good. All right, well, all you space engineers out there, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the video out. And please subscribe. That really helps the channel. Ring that bell because it'll give you reminders of when I upload uh, new videos, and I do that on a real regular basis. Okay, all you space engineers out there, keep your heads low, keep building away, and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.